Hey guys, this is Caleb with Caleb Sketches, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fish the good old rooster tail. So let's get out here and hopefully catch some fish. It's 90 something degrees, so if we can catch a fish on a rooster tail, then that will just show you how good of a lure it really is. Alright guys, so rooster tail is more your lighter um, lure. This one is one sixth of an ounce, but they come like all the way in like one thirty second or something like that. Uh, and then it puts off a flash vibration and all you do is you cast it you let it sink to the desired depth generally you can't how many seconds it's been sinking for and um, from there you just straight retrieve like this is what I'm doing just nice and easy you could probably slow it down more than that and let's see if I can show you all the action of it as it comes in yeah so that blade spins around. Just got to bring it in and get the weeds off of it occasionally. Because it's not the best weedless lure, but it's definitely a good multi species lure. You can catch white bass, yellow bass, catfish. I mean, you probably get a large mouth or small mouth to bite it as well i've caught drum as y'all have seen in that one video so the rooster tail is a good lure to have in your tackle box just for those days where the bite may not be what you want it to do i've been out here and i've fished probably seven different types of lures right now and it's just too hot you've got some bass jumping but other than that they're not biting anything I mean, we even had a nice two or three pounder swim by and it wouldn't go for anything. And that seems to be the consensus out here. I've talked to a lot of people and they said it's just been a slow day. But I'm not really surprised with it being 90 degrees out. Over here. Right behind where that boat was. Goodness, at the wind. And this is also one of those lures, you know, perfect conditions. It all depends on what you're fishing for, too. Now, we've got stained water, wind. So I'm fishing a bright colored rooster tail. You can also fish these at night. If you're fishing at night, I would either go with absolute black or do a bright color to get the fish's attention. That drum that I caught was on on a pink one if I remember correctly so since it's deeper in there I'm trying to keep it deeper longer I'm not hundred percent sure where the fish are right now with it being so hot I think it's deep we got some hey caught us a little yellow bass on the rooster tail thank you for biting buddy We will measure him just so it's he's measured. Okay, I'm gonna have to get him off hook first. Don't be stubborn. Oh, you took it that way. There we go. Buddy. Make sure I'll stand out. There he is, guys. Caught on the one sixth ounce first first ball. He's about seven inches long. Released. 
There he goes. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that tutorial of the rooster tail. It is a great multi-species lure and can be used for multiple different purposes. So y'all get out there and get you one, try it out and have a good time. Like I said, I do stress it is a light tackle lure. So always be prepared. You never know what's gonna bite. Be ready to loosen that drag or whatever needs to be done. Well guys, if that subscribe button's red, make sure it's gray so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. And this is Caleb with Caleb Sketches reminding you, we're here to teach the world to fish, one cast at a time. Thank you.